Today we'll be installing Salsa J on a Mac. To do this, we'll first download Java from the java.com website. You'll be creating a disk image. Save that disk image, the DMG file, into your downloads folder. Once the download is complete, click on the desktop and go to downloads. And in there you should see the DMG file. Double click on that to create a disk image. Inside that disk image is the app that will allow you to install Java. Double click on that and type in your password to give the computer permission to install Java. Click on install to begin the procedure. Once Java has finished installing successfully, you should be able to close those windows and eject the disk image of Java 8. Next, you'll be going to get Salsa J and download it. Downloading Salsa J from the website, we'll go ahead and get the version for the Macintosh that has all of the associated images and macros. We'll create another disk image by saving the DMG file. Again, we will go back to our downloads folder. Click on the desktop to get to downloads. Double click on your Salsa J disk image or DMG file. Now we might be tempted to double click and launch it from within the disk image, but we need to create a separate file on our desktop and drag all of those items into the new folder that we create. That's your own personal Salsa J folder. If you double click on that, it will say you can't launch it, but if you control click and hit open, it will give you the privileges to install. You know you're successful when you see the yellow bar and menu that is characteristic of Salsa J. Once you see the yellow menu, you're good to go.